Welcome back to KC Talks EV. So on today's episode, we're going to be doing the range test and the charging curve test of the MG ZS EV long range. I should mention that this car was kindly lent to me for testing purposes by Maple Garage in Sprotley. They've been absolutely brilliant when it comes to customer service for me, and most certainly I would highly recommend them. So today's route is going to be slightly different. I'm currently based where I currently work in Grimsby. So I'm going to try and make it back to Hull. I'm going to go via a pretty long detour to Huddersfield. So in total, it should be around 140 to 150 miles. I'm currently starting from a state of charge of 90% and then we can extrapolate the total 100% down to 0% range. In terms of weather conditions today, we're looking at around 11 degrees Celsius and a 12 miles per hour wind from the west. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so to avoid the traffic at rush hour, I've actually gone a couple junctions further than what I kind of expected to do. The issue, however, is, and as I mentioned in my MG5 long range video that you can look at here, obviously the M62 does seem to gain quite a lot of elevation in a short space of time. So I've just got off at junction 22, which is for saddles worth, I think. So an hour and 43 minutes, 97.1 miles, average speed of 55 miles per hour and 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour average efficiency. So currently I'm heading on the return journey back to Hull. Oh, and the last thing that I probably should mention is that we have reached 42% state of charge. Okay, so I've just finished the range test of the MG ZS EV long range. So in total, I have done 160.8 miles, average speed of 58 miles per hour, two hours and 44 minutes and 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour. So I've just done the calculations and something very odd has just happened. So what's happened is that I actually arrived here with 13%, meaning that I would normally say that I use 77%. However, what I've just noticed is that the battery percentage has gone down from 13% down to 10%. So if we then use 80% actual used in terms of this range test to calculate the 100% down to 0% theoretical range and the usable capacity, what we end up with is 201 miles theoretical range and 64.83 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. So the most confusing thing about this by far is that now the usable capacity is quite a bit lower than what MG quotes, which is 68.3 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. So I'm a, a bit confused at this point. However, if you then use the 77%, you end up with 208 miles of theoretical range and nearly 67 kilowatt hours of usable capacity, which is much more like it. So I think at this point, we will use the 80% result just for now. However, I'm now going to take this to a 50 kilowatt rapid charger and we are going to do the charging curve test. Okay, so we're ready to do the charging test. So I arrived here with 5%. I'm going to check every roughly 10 minute intervals to make sure that the charge is going smoothly. So this is a 50 kilowatt rapid charger. So that means that we're not going to get quite the full 50 kilowatt until the pack voltage starts increasing. However, the interesting part of this should be where the point of throttling is. I'm not quite sure whether it's around 80% or possibly even higher. So I will be checking this every 10 minutes. 
We're currently on 12% state of charge, 348, 349 volts at 124 amps. Okay, so we're 15 minutes into the charge session. We are still currently getting 355 volt at 124 amps, and we are at 22% state of charge. Okay, so we've just reached the half an hour mark. We're still getting 361 volt at 124 amps, and the battery is at 38% state of charge. Okay, so we're now at the 40 minute mark. We're on 49% state of charge. We're still taking in 367 volts at 123 amps. Okay, so we're coming up to 50 minutes in. We are currently at 59% state of charge. We are currently charging at 376 volts and 123 amps. Okay, so we've just ticked over an hour mark and we are at 71% state of charge. We are currently getting 389 volts at 123 amps. So at the moment, it doesn't seem as though that it is about to throttle, although I'm probably gonna take it to another 20 minutes and then we will conclude this video. Okay, so we're now at the hour and 10 minute mark. We are at 82% state of charge. The charge has throttled quite considerably, however, so it's down to 397 volt and 68 amps. Okay, so we've just reached the hour and 20 minute mark, so we're on 87%. I'm about to unplug. We're at 402 volt at 52 amps. So let's go straight to the conclusion. Okay, so I think it's time to conclude the range and charging curve test video. So in terms of the range test, we are looking at a 201 mile, 100% down to 0% theoretical range. The usable capacity is a little bit confusing. However, I believe that it may just be because this car is fairly new. So I got about 64 kilowatt hours usable capacity. I reckon it's probably slightly more. So I reckon it is as quoted by MG, around 68.3 kilowatt hours. But I think this battery just needs to be calibrated a little bit more and used. In terms of your charging curve test on a 50 kilowatt charger, you get the same similar problem with the, just like the five long range in which the battery voltage causes it to not deliver as high of a kilowatt rating as it would normally do with a higher battery voltage, such as, for example, the Mark 1 ZS EV. But most certainly that curve stayed pretty flat till around 80%, well, 70, 80%, which basically means that, yeah, at this point, I think even in these sort of weather conditions in the summer, it'll be much better. And not to mention on a much higher wattage or rated charger, you definitely get a pretty good charging speed. So I think that's pretty much it. So if you liked the video or you found it informative, please give it a like, dislike it if you didn't. Please share this video to anyone who currently has an MG ZS EV long range, or for example, is currently considering purchasing a MG electric car or any electric car for that matter. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and talk to you later.